what is going on everybody welcome back to my channel and to the reverse dieting series in the first two episodes we kind of talked about one what reverse dieting is i'm getting stuck and two who should do it so if you didn't watch those two make sure you go back go watch them and before we get started on this video give it a like and subscribe down below so in this video i want to kind of expand on the who should do it part and talk about those people who maybe aren't already tracking calories or macros but feel like they should be reverse dieting where do they start how do they start so let's break this down today we'll give you all the answers that you need to know and make sure you stick to the end for a golden little nugget that is really going to help you out if this sounds like something that is happening to you so first thing that you're going to want to ask yourself if you are in a situation like this is am i consistent with how i'm eating so what happens a lot is people will be like okay during the week monday to friday i'm barely eating like something like 1200 calories and then I'll ask them what happens on the weekend. Are you eating the same way? And they'll be like, no, I eat so much more on the weekends. So if you're eating, you know, 3000 calories on the weekends, but then like 1400 during the week, you might not need a reverse diet. What you should more focus on is getting consistent with how you're eating. So instead of, you know, eating 1400 during the week, 3000 on the weekend, maybe something more realistic, like 1600, 1700, but being consistent with it throughout the entire week. Once you see how your body reacts to that, then you can decide whether you should be going up or down in calories. If you just kind of maintain when you're being consistent with calories, then you can either lower your calories a little bit, increase them a little bit to see a little bit more muscle growth, depending on what your goals are. So that's the first thing. But let's say you are pretty consistent and throughout the week, you're really not eating much. You aren't, you know, you don't have the energy. You're kind of cold all the time. You're moody. Any of those symptoms could be signs that you are not eating enough and you need to go through a reverse diet. So if this sounds like you, what you're going to want to do first is make sure you track your days for an entire week. So the entire week, whatever week it's going to be, just track what you're eating throughout the day. Don't focus on hitting any numbers. Don't focus on making it a little bit cleaner just because you're tracking it. Just track what you would normally eat for the entire week. And then what you're going to do is take all those numbers, you know, the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, whatever totals you have and just calories. You don't worry about the macros, just calories. Add them all up and divide by seven. That will be the average that you had throughout the week. Whatever that number is, is where you're going to start out your reverse diet. So what I would have you do if you were a client of mine is start out at that reverse diet number and then slowly start adding in calories week to week on either 100 calories, 50 calories, depending on how your body's reacting. So let's say you want to count macros instead of just counting calories, but you aren't currently counting macros or calories at all. What are you going to do with that number instead? So what you're going to want to do, it really depends on how low the number is. You might just want to start on a percentage base, you know, 30% protein, 40% carbs, 30% fat, or some sort of a percentage base that's best for you. Or you can start out with a certain amount of protein. So for example, 0.8 to 0.9 times your body weight in pounds is kind of the range of protein that most people need to eat around. So if you do, you know, whatever your body weight is times by 0.8, you could eat that amount of protein and then figure out the carbs and fat that are left over based on that. The problem with this is typically if you're not eating a lot of food, protein might take up most of the food that you have in the amount of calories that you're going to be given for, you know, that first week. So I wouldn't necessarily start with that. I would start with more percentages. So again, about 20 to 30% fat, about 40 to 50 percent carbs and about 30 percent protein this should be enough at least in the beginning stages to get you on the right foot as you start adding calories it'll also go towards your macros so let's say you start out 1400 calories and you add up to 1500 the next week or two then you'll also change around the amount of macros you have so you could stay on the, the percentages that you have or you can start switching around just you know adding in some carbs adding in some fat or adding in just protein it really depends on what you think is best for you ultimately what you want to do is make sure you have have the end vision in mind for you so where do you want to end for a lot of people you can just kind of go on a macro calculator or something and see where your maintenance should be this is going to be where you sort of want to end your reverse diet if your goal is simply to get your calories up and not necessarily go into a bulk if you would like to go into a bulk you can definitely go past your maintenance calories um it, it's there's no right or wrong answer for when you stop increasing your calories but you do want to get up to where your maintenance should be around and once you get there free sailing from there. So I hope this was helpful. Again, if you are somebody who is not sure if they should be reverse dieting or not, make sure you go back to the previous video to see if you should be. If you are someone who's not tracking it all yet, 
these are some tips that you can use to figure out where you should start out and how to increase your calories from there. So I hope this was helpful and make sure you guys subscribe down below and look out for the next video next week.